The opioid epidemic has harmed families all over the state and right here in Northeast Michigan. One of the most lethal opioids is fentanyl, a synthetic drug where one kilogram contains as many as 500,000 lethal doses. Just this past March, three people were arrested in connection to numerous fentanyl overdoses throughout Alpena, but new national legislation looks to put a dent in the production of the deadly drug. This week, Senator Gary Peters and Republican Senator Shelley Moore Capito introduced bipartisan legislation that would pressure the Chinese government to step up regulatory enforcement. Officials estimate that China is responsible for roughly 90% of illicit fentanyl. Legislators want to send a message to the Chinese government. We cannot uh, just ask them to do things, especially when they clearly are not doing it. That's why we want to put some teeth in the legislation to impose financial sanctions that will put a price on their uh, inaction. Uh, we also think it's important for us to stand up even more intelligence forces so that we can find out who's actually producing it, where they're doing it, where it's coming into the United States, so that we can also use our law enforcement forces here in the country. The legislation would authorize $600 million of funding for law enforcement and intelligence agencies. I also asked Peters about when he thinks this legislation will pass and if the president will sign it. He said this issue is front and center, so very soon. Peters is also very confident that the president will sign it. The bill has been introduced in the House and is currently under review by several committees.